Oh, I don't know if I started yet, but I'm just going to talk, assuming I have. Let's see. Yep. So we're just here to chat and chill. Now I'm a little bit upset starting this. Just a little bit. Because it's currently 10.20 p.m. On October 24th. I wanted to start this 20 minutes ago. But I had to help my dad get some stuff done in the garage. You know, originally we were supposed to do it like 50 minutes ago. Around like 9.30, 9.25-ish. Like my dad's been wanting to get this stuff done for a couple of days now. And we have to get a bun to get a bun. Get it done by tomorrow. So, you know, I wanted to get that stuff done before starting this. But he said he wanted to watch the news first. Which the news started at 9.30. So I didn't know what time the news ended. So I thought, you know what, if I gotta wait for him to start, he'll have to wait for me to start. So I got ready, got prepared to do this. And then, the moment I was about to start, just about 10pm, he's like, alright, news is done, come on, let's go do it. I'm just like, fuck. So I had to help him with a bunch of stuff in the garage, and now I'm late to doing this. Which I got other plans tonight as well. I, my plans were to finish this, and then go work out. I got like double duty working out tonight. Because not only am I going to be doing the treadmill after doing this, I'm also going to be doing weights as well. I'll be doing some lifting. Yay. Twice the workout. Yeah, I'm a little mad that I got delayed doing this, but essentially, I got delayed just sitting here and talking. That, that's what I really got delayed. I kid you not, I've been doing this for days now. Just leaving my switch on, killing my battery health. Leaving my switch on for like hours upon hours during the day. Just leaving this game on, waiting for space-time distortions to pop up. And then when they do, I just hop in and check. Now a couple things I've learned since the last time I did this. Every space-time distortion only has three rare spawns so right now I'm trying to hunt for a Sneasel and Weavile every every now and then I only get three encounters so yeah this is this is gonna be quite a long shiny hunt now at some point I will absolutely give up on this hunt because right now this is only to fill in the time this is only to to kill time because like I said, today is October 24th. This is before Scarlet and Violet comes out. Yes, I know, I'm playing this way in the past. This happened so long ago. This is before Gen 9 for you guys watching in the future. Which I don't know who would be watching this in the future. There's really nothing to gain from watching this. So let's see. Scarlet and Violet releases in, let's see, one, two, th three weeks plus... 1, 2, 3 days, 7, 14, 21, 24 days! I am 24 days away from the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That's where I'm playing. That's where I'm playing this in the timeline that we live in. So, I'm gonna be doing these shiny hunts until Scarlet and Violet, and then when that game comes out, I will absolutely be giving up this hunt. Because my priority will be hunting in those games. And I doubt I'll come back to these hunts. I may quit this before the game comes out anyways. Because this hunt is so absurdly boring. So time consuming. So switch battery killing. That I may just, you know, think of something else to hunt. And just, uh, just hunt that instead. Because ultimately I don't even really need these shinies. It's just for the... 
It's just for the experience, like the bragging rights, the fact that I actually got these. So I can brag about it, so that I can say that I actually have them. Which I don't really need. You know, I have not hunted so many Sneasels in my life. Let me, let me just show you real quick. I know this is gonna delay the 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 timer, make him make us wait longer, but who cares? Let's see. So I completed the Sneasel Pokedex entry to get. Let's see. I got one, two, which I evolved. I know I got more Sneasels. I can. I know I can. I can just search. Mm. Am I just not seeing them? Wow, it doesn't even really help. They're because they're all already blending in with the black and white. So that's one, and then we add we include this one, so two. Three, four, five. I already got five shiny Sneasels in this game. And now I'm hunting for a regular shiny Sneasel. I keep wanting to say a Sinoian Sneasel, but no. Sneasel came from Gen 2, so it'd be a Jot Jotoian. Jotoian, whatever. And then, let's see, I got a... Recently, quote-unquote recently, a couple shiny Sneasels in Pokemon Go. Let me open up, let me open up my app real quick. I got a shiny Sneasel one month ago on September 21st, so a month and three days ago I got a shiny Sneasel in Pokemon Go. And now I'm hunting for them again! I swear, maybe like a day or two more of this and I'll call it there, like I give up on this hunt. I It's yielding no shinies. And also, you know, the, the more important thing, it's killing my Switch battery life. Because like I said, I just leave the game on for hours. Just just waiting for one of these to spawn. And then when my Switch is almost dead, I charge it, and I still leave the Switch on. Like, that's just killing my battery. I know I probably should... Well, I do, the, I do actually do this sometimes. Sometimes I let... Uh, I let my Switch sleep and rest for a bit. But then it's like, but I'm wasting time. That's time that could be spent waiting for... Waiting for... Oh, there we go. Finally, one's forming. That could be time spent waiting for a space-time distortion. And also, whenever one does spawn, like one like this one, it takes quite a bit of time for it to begin. Oh, I just heard a Starly. Ooh, it's all the way down there. So, we are going to be waiting for two of these to spawn right now. This is the first one, and then once this one's done, we wait for one more, then I call it there. I did empty on my items, right? Yes. Because whenever I go into one of these, I just pick up all the items, mostly the shards, red, green, and blue shards. I don't know what they do. But I have a ton of them right now. Mm -hmm. 
So while we wait, let me tell you guys a quick little story about something that happened today. Gonna just stay right here and wait for this to materialize. So today I had my driving lesson, and when I got home, I took a good look. Cause my pumpkin, uh, my pumpkin got ate. You know, it's the month of Halloween, that means it's almost October. I, uh, we have pumpkins outside, or I have a pumpkin outside. Our neighbors have pumpkins outside too. It, it's, the, it's the season of pumpkins. It's pumpkin season again. It's pumpkin spice season again. So we have pumpkins outside. Or I, my family, we have one pumpkin outside. And there are... It, that thing got eight. There are... There's like a quarter of the pumpkin missing. And what's funny is it's only our pumpkin. Our neighbor's pumpkin looks fine and intact. It's just ours. The one pumpkin that's in our front yard is getting eight. We don't know what by. We're all predicting a squirrel. You know, we, we highly doubt it could be like a raccoon or a fox. I don't know, one of the cats that roam around. So yeah, we're predicting a squirrel. Now what's interesting is... Our neighbor's pumpkins are on the ground, so it's ground level for animals to eat at. Ours, it's elevated. It's on, like, a, a pedestal type of thing. And then we have, like, benches in the front. So we assume, like, maybe a squirrel is standing on the bench to, to eat the pumpkin. What, is, is our pumpkin extra sweet, extra juicy? That's why the animals like this one so much? Or did they, did, did maybe a squirrel just, I don't know, just just pick one out of the hat randomly. Like, alright, that pumpkin. Just start eating it, start eating it, and just, you know, decide to just stick with this one. So I took a picture. I sent it to my friends like, yo, my pumpkin got eight. One of my friends replied, why do you have a pumpkin? I'm just like, what do you mean, why do I have a pumpkin? It's October. What do you mean, why do I have a pumpkin? So it turns out, then he went on a big rant, telling us all in our group chat, like, he hates Halloween. He hates this time of year. Let, let me try to dig up the old messages of what he said. He, he's like, ew, October, why can't we skip October and go straight into November? Like he said, in his opinion, October shouldn't exist. The only good thing is Thanksgiving. The rest is doo-doo. Now, for those who don't know, here in Canada, for some weird reason, Thanksgiving is in October. I always associated Thanksgiving with November, but for some reason, here in Canada, it takes place in October. He's saying, like, we should just take October out. Like, he really doesn't like this month. He doesn't care for this month's existence at all. And then he said... He just doesn't like Halloween. It's legit people walking around and being a massive road hazard. Which, okay, I'll give him that one. You honk at them, you're a bad person. You run them over and you go to jail. Like, what can I do? Well, you probably just should not be driving out on Halloween night. <laughs> and then, you know, other friend was saying, unless you take 30 days out of the year, it's not going to change. And then I was joking around, like, just, you know, just do the math and miss, like, 30 leap years. 30 sets of leap years. So a leap year happens every four years. So we get one extra day every four years. And there are 30, well, wait, 31 days in October. So let's see, 31 times 4, 124 years. If we, if we wait 124 years, we can miss October that many months, I think. What? No, that many years. We can miss October for 124 years. Anyway, so I was calling him like, yo, you like the, the Scrooge equivalent of Halloween? Oh god, what happened? Oh, one of my wires is going off to Fritz again. It's disconnecting again. That's why the beeping sound is being made, probably lagging out the game too, but at least there's nothing going on in the game for us to really... Oh, there we go. Now, of course, it has to happen right as this is going on. 
I didn't even hit the button there. Oh, no, wait, I didn't have to, because uh, I was already on Sneasler. And then I just did this. For God's sake. There. Well, there's the first one of three, and you're not a shiny. What I do is I just knock them out that way I don't get confused. Like, did I already see this one? And plus, it's good experience. I don't know what level my Typhlosion was at last time I played this, but now it's this level. And my Vulpix and Ninetales are that level compared to last time. I have not gotten a single shiny anything from an STD yet. Ooh, Weavile. Too bad you're not pink and yellow. So yeah, I was calling my friend a, uh, a Scrooge equivalent for Halloween. I was joking around being like, Yo, you're gonna get visited by the ghosts of Halloween past, present, and future. Like, he really doesn't care for Halloween. He really hates Halloween. In a way, I kind of get it. You know, not the Halloween portion, but I'm like, okay, you hate a holiday. Now, I get shit. I get crap from all my friends for hating Chinese New Year. And then, you know, he he hates Halloween. We're all just like, like okay, it's fine. But, but me, hating Chinese New Year? Yeah, that's a no-no right there. But him, he gets a pass for hating Halloween. Oh, there's the, there's the third one right there. I didn't even see it. Wow, what hit me there? I didn't get a backstrike. Come on, use some normal type moves. No, don't use ground type moves. <laughs> this is what he texted earlier too. He was saying, like, don't even get me started on grown-ass humans dressing up. Because, uh, he, he d he's not partial on that idea either. Alright, because the three encounters are not shiny, I get out of here. Well, first, I put down all my items. Look at how many shards I've gotten now. Like, wait, where'd they go? That's a lot of shards that I don't know what to do with. I typically go for night. That way maybe an STD will spawn during the day. <clears throat> and now we wait again. He was like, like Jesus, if you like dressing up, do it at home. Because he don't want to see it. You're 40, not 4. Grow up. Yeah, he really hates Halloween. Like he said, he's always hated the idea of dressing up so much at work. And I told him, just don't dress up. You don't have to participate in Halloween, just don't dress up and uh, to go to work. He's like, wait. He's like, then what's the point of Halloween? It's like, and I said, for everyone else. Everyone else who wants to dress up. He was saying how it's not a federal holiday, so it's legit nothing. He said, make it a federal holiday and he would be happy. Like how Easter is Easter is good because it's a, it's a federal holiday, and so is Thanksgiving. And I was joking around, like, get a petition done if you really wanted, want Halloween to become a federal holiday. And he was saying, like, you think there is a petition done? I asked, did you sign? He's like, no, because the petition's only for the U.S. Congress. And, he, and we're not U.S. citizens, we're here in Canada. And then I jokingly said, like, start a petition one, start, start one for Canada. If you, if you want Halloween to become a federal holiday so badly, just start one for Canada. And that's where the conversation kind of ended. But yeah, he really hates Halloween. I never knew this about him. He really doesn't like Halloween. He doesn't like... 
the, 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 the hazard, the road hazard that are kids trick-or-treating. He doesn't like the idea of people dressing up in costumes. He doesn't like the fact that Halloween's not an official federal holiday. It's like, damn, bro, I didn't know you had all this pent-up aggression and anger towards this holiday. And you know, I've been saying this for a long time. Take, for example, me and how I hate Chinese New Year. You know, just because I hate it doesn't mean that other people can't celebrate it. If you love Chinese New Year and you celebrate it, great, good for you. Just don't force me to do it. But I am forced. I am forced to celebrate it to my dis, to my displeasure, to my disapproval. You know, if if my friend doesn't like Halloween, then don't celebrate it. Just don't dress up. Don't drive around during Halloween day when kids are trick or treating. It's not that. It's not that big a deal. No one's forcing you to celebrate Halloween, like you know the way my family forces me to celebrate Chinese New Year. You know, it's, I, I've used the example of, like, Christmas. If someone hates Christmas, all right, then. Now, I love Christmas, but if you hate Christmas, okay. Nothing against you. You don't like it. You don't like it. Just don't celebrate it, flat out. Like, there's what's the issue here? Just don't celebrate it. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean that it shouldn't exist for everyone else to enjoy. Now, my friends use this kind of argument with me all the time when it comes to Chinese New Year. It's like, how could you hate the holiday? You get free money, you know, with the red pockets. But I tell them, that's the only good thing about this holiday. The red pockets, the free money. But then they, they, they close me in a loop. It's like, if you like that, then that means you don't hate the holiday because you like an aspect of it. If you, if you participate in that part of it, then you can't hate it. But I, and then I rebuttal, like, but I do hate it. Then you shouldn't be receiving, then you can't like the red money. But I do like receiving the money. I just hate the holiday. But then you don't hate the holiday because you like that one aspect. I'm just thinking to myself, dude, you cannot trap me in an infinite loop like that. You cannot say, I don't like this. I, I cannot dislike this because of one certain aspect of it. Like, you just cannot do that. It's like, I don't know, for an example, it's like a, a dish. I don't like an ingredient used in it. Doesn't mean I hate the entire dish. Uh, you know, the first example that comes to my mind is like cucumbers. I don't like cucumbers. That doesn't mean, like, I don't know, I don't like sushi. I just remove the cucumbers. That doesn't mean I hate sushi, but wait, what? You know what I'm trying to say. One thing doesn't doesn't make me be on one side of the argument or the other. So yes, I hate Chinese New Year, but the only thing I like about it is the fact that that I receive free money in the red pockets. Now, don't 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 nobody in the comments be like, but you do but that means you do like the holiday because you like one aspect of it, one feature of it. That's like saying you hate Christmas, but your favorite, you, you, the only thing you like about Christmas is like receiving the presents. Other than that, you hate everything else about Christmas. You hate the festivities, you hate the decorations, you just hate everything else. You only like receiving the presents because you you like receiving free stuff. You know, because I'm in that, I'm in that similar position, I'm not going to be like, but you do like Christmas then. Just because you like this one part of Christmas, that means you can't hate the entire holiday. Is what I'm saying making sense? It makes sense to me. Now, if some people are asking me, like, why do you hate Chinese New Year? Well, for those who don't know, let me explain it again. I've explained this in the past, but for those who might be new, for those who might not know, let me explain it again. 
I hate Chinese New Year because of all the stupid... Oop, game's about to fall asleep. Not game, system. The whole system's about to sleep. I hate the holiday because of all of the traditions that I have to follow. The stupid ass traditions that... You know, I actually didn't realize this until like a long time after. It turns out that my family is more quote-unquote traditional than other families. You could say like... More, one family is more religious than another. You could say you can take that as an example, because it turns out a lot of things that my family makes me do. Turns out a lot of my friends have never even heard of these such tactics, these uh, traditions that we do. It turns out, turns out they don't even they never even heard about it before. So what are these? Someone knocking at the door. So what are these ludicrous? traditions that I must partake in well I because this is the only exposure I have experience of to Chinese New Year I don't know how the holiday is regularly celebrated but the what I've been exposed to there's okay first of all I never know when this stupid holiday is taking place it changes every year Sometimes I think it's in January, I think. Sometimes it's in February, sometimes it's like beginning of February, sometimes it's the end of the month. I can never tell. So I never I never care to learn when it is. It's not like other holidays, for example, like October, it's always no wait, October. For some for example, Halloween, it's always October thirty first. But for Chinese New Year it changes like all the time, so I never know when when it happens. At least I'm pretty sure it always changes. Watch it doesn't change and I'm just an idiot who thinks it always changes. But regardless, I don't care about the holiday enough to actually find out when it happens. So yeah, I don't like I don't like the holiday cuz it's so sudden out of nowhere this holiday gets pushed onto me. It's like, "Okay, I now you have to do all this bullshit." So let's see, whenever this ha this holiday happens, there's one day out of the holiday picking up your mom. What's the holiday? I'm talking about why I hate Chinese New Year. So there's there's one day throughout the, the, the week that this holiday takes place in that that we must go vegan. Just, just out of nowhere, just, just out of nowhere, it's, it's just another normal day for me. And it's like, oh yeah, you, you, you're going vegan today. You can't have this. You can't have that. For dinner, we're having all vegan. There's nothing wrong with eating, eating vegan stuff. But when you suddenly put it on to me, that just makes me not want to be vegan even more. When you out of nowhere tell me, no, no eating meat today. Pause. I'm just like, great. Now you made me want a hamburger even more. Uh, this is, this is the, the, the stupid shit that we get into. This is where we get into the stupid stuff. It also turns out that none of my friends ever heard of this either. So my, my, my family, for some sort of luck or fortune or whatever, they tie up, I think it's like clementines, you know, like the, the fruit, like an orange or a mandarin. I think it's a, it's a clementine, I think. Some sort of citrus fruit like that. They tie one or two of them up onto the shower head. So every time I shower, there's just a, a dangling pair of fruit that looks like a, a ball sack right in my face as I'm showering. And then at, at some point during the holiday, I get told, you need to wear red underwear today. I'm just like, what the fuck? Fuck, why? Why? And then there was this one point a couple years ago. We had, my dad made us do this stupid thing. I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. If I need to do it, I'll just, I'll just do it. I don't, I don't care. It, it doesn't really impact me whether I do it or not. 
Now, what, what my dad made us do is he gave us, like, a tub of water that had, like, ash in it. You know, like, burnt up stuff. There was, like, ash in it. And he was like, when you're in the shower, pour it over your head. I hate Chinese New Year. It's just a bunch of restrictions and stupid things I have to do that ultimately I would just not do in my normal day-to-day -day life you suddenly tell me do this random thing I'm just like why what's the point what benefit comes out of me pouring ashy water over myself while I'm in the shower what benefit comes from me Tying up two oranges on my shower head. And you know the the color red, they're they're very hypocritical with when it comes to the color red. You know, sometimes like depending on your mood, red means good, or flip of a coin, red means bad. You know, red being my favorite color. Originally, when I moved into the, the house I'm currently living in, I wanted to paint the, the walls in my room red. Because I like red. A nice, bright, vibrant red. I wanted my room to be painted red. But I got told, no, 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 no. Red is bad. Red, red brings bad luck. Red, red means evil or whatever. And then whenever it's Chinese New Year, you know, it, it's all red. Everything is red. All the decorations are red. Red means luck. Red means fortune. Red means whatever the hell it means in, the, in that holiday. And it's just like, okay, I can't paint my room red because that's bad luck. But this holiday, the whole theme is red because that brings good luck. Which one is it? Now, it's mostly just my family's method of exposure that has been inflicted on me for this holiday that has really made me hate it. Because my friends, they were, the, the, I'm pretty sure the way they celebrate it is just a dinner and then they just call it there. Maybe a couple of red pockets exchanges here and there and that's about it. But for me, I gotta do all this extra bullshit that I would rather never do. You know, in Chinese, whenever it's Chinese New Year, there are te typically four different sayings that you say. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I only know two of them. I only know Happy New Year and I wish you good health. I don't know what the other saying is. I think the other two sayings are like, ooh, hello. I think the other two sayings are like, I wish you good health and like, I don't know, doing good in school. I don't know what those two other two are, how to say it. And also, why am I celebrating another new year, like a month to two months into the new year already? Oops. You know, because to me, New Year's is January 1st. New Year's is not halfway into February. So it's like, why are we celebrating another New Year's? <clears throat> now, yes, I get it. It's like different regions in the world and different backgrounds. Different, uh... Different culture. Like, for some reason, their New Year starts sometime in February, I guess. But, me, growing up here, my New Year's is January 1st. Because I'm technically a, a CBC. I got, I got asked this at work one time. This, uh, this Asian mom and son came in. The, the mom clearly was not born here, but the kid was. So he asked me in English, he was like, are you a CBC as well? I'm just like, what's that? 
he's like Chinese born Canadian I'm just like yeah I guess so is that a term that is that an official term that we all use now is that what people say now a CBC isn't that a news outlet or am I thinking of like other ones like CBN or CTV isn't CBC something too Regardless, I got asked, like, are you a CBC as well? Never once heard that in my life. Are you a CBC? Like, that's a widely known term. Unless it is, and I'm just an idiot for not knowing it. Well, I'm now done my medication. I drank all the uh, the medication I needed to that was diluted into my water. Because there's still red coming out, so I need to drink this. So anyways, once we're done with this STD, we're just gonna, just gonna call it there for tonight. It's gonna be a quick one. But trust, I'm definitely going to end these once Scarlet and Violet drop, or maybe even before. Oh, you hear the world rumbling. You hear the rumbling. Is Aaron Yeager bringing his army of Colossal Titans? Is that the rumbling we're talking about? Come on, please, give me a shiny. Anything to, to be shiny. You're not shiny. What are you doing? Oh, right, I forgot to mention one thing. I'll, I'll show you guys after I've done this. Aw, oh, there's the second one that's not shiny. Turn around! Sometimes this game is infuriating when it comes to when we choose to bring out Sneasler. Alright, where's the third one? There's a third one and it's not shiny. Damn it. I can take these two down. Hypnosis, you jerk. Good, at least uh, at least I landed the attack. Oh, that onyx looked a little green for a second there, at least to me. I was thinking like, did I actually just get one? No, no, I did not. All right, there were no shinies this time. Now to kill my switch battery life even more by waiting some more. By the way, did you notice? Uh, where is it? 
Where's the grit stuff again? The grits. Where's the grits? I got a thousand of this. And I don't have any more room, so it's bleeding over to here. So one more thing before I go. Dude, I'm never going to do your, your side quest. So last time, since last time, I found these two. Two alphas. Now that's pretty rare. When they showed up, I'm just like, I may as well catch them because they're quite rare. Alpha, uh, alpha Weavile. And Alpha Sneasel. Wow, these guys are big. You know, they, they actually appeared in the, in the same STD as well. Back to back. I got the Weavile first and then the Sneasel popped up. And I'm just like, yo, what are the chances of, the, of that? Of an alpha of both of them back to back. If there were a shiny alpha, that'd be much better. <sighs> I also learned that if you do just a little while, it does not despawn or reset the, uh, the the timer for an STD, but it but all the other ones do. And also, STDs don't show up in like intense sun, blizzard, thunderstorm, certain weathers. All right, so I'm gonna call it there for today, and I am going to exercise, no matter how much I hate doing so. See you guys next time.